been a while. I know, I know. Life gets in the way. <sighs> Guys, I'm trying hard to upload more frequently, but I've had so many changes, going through so much stuff, just life stuff, you know, uh, that it's hard to, you know, always get footage and put up and, uh, you know, edit and all that. I haven't done a recipe. I do have a recipe coming up, so um, hopefully it'll be up um, this weekend. If not, I'm sorry, but I'm going to try real hard to make sure it's up this weekend. Uh, one of my favorite foods, although I shouldn't eat it too much, fried bakes, but my way. So how are you guys doing today? Hope you are doing fabulously well, and I uh, hope that you're enjoying life. So guys, yeah, I'm still in the city, Casey in the city, and I'm trying, because I got a green thumb. Not literally, but you know. I love to grow things. So today I thought I'd give you guys a quick update on my indoor garden. Um, I've had to, you know, a few plants or, you know, a slight neglect. They have gone to plant heaven. <laughs> but uh, I do have a few little plants left. And I do it, guys, on a strict low budget. Okay, low. Because, you know, plants are beneficial to your indoor environment. Not just for looks. I mean, they make your place look amazing. But... They also help give you healthier air indoors because plants absorb the bad stuff and spits out lovely things called oxygen, right? Fresh air, all that good stuff. They filter the air, some of them. Uh, some of them do it even better than others. So I've got a few plants and I thought I'd show you guys how they are doing today. Um, so here goes. So this is my newest addition to my plant family. Um, this is Diefenbachia, Diefenbachia, I don't know which Diefenbachia because it was purchased at my favorite uh, plant place, it's a greenhouse near me here in uh, Scarborough and um, the plants are really cheap and it's a huge, huge, huge uh, greenhouse facility, it's called Valley View um, Nurseries I think, Valley View Nurseries or Valley View Gardens, eh, whichever, it's on Kennedy Road, <laughs> love that place, so yeah. Different back here. I'm trying to find plants that are not like high, high light re um, uh, requirement uh, type plants. And I was told this is uh, one of them that will do okay in lower light. Although I, I live in a pretty bright, as you can see, pretty bright um, apartment. But um, I feel like the sun is indirect here. So I, li I think plants like this will do well. As you can see, it has beautiful variegated leaves trick guys when you bring a plant home it's a good idea to check the plant for bugs which I did and I found some um, what looked like white fly or sp uh, spider mites I should say so I gave it a good soap down and I'm gonna keep an eye on it also sprayed it with some um, insecticidal soap and that should take care of the spider mites I've got it on a humidity tray which currently has no liquid in it uh, water um, but that will help upkeep the humidity around your plants so that's one plant. I used to have some orchids here, but some sort of bacteria, whatever, fungus took over the orchid and spread to another one, so they were lost. But still got my poor little banana plant, which has somehow made it through the very hot summer despite my occasional total neglect. Um, I think what's happening right now, and I read up on this, is the uh, mother plant, which is this original plant. This is what I bought, this big one, okay? is dying off slowly right and at the base it's sending up its replacement and I read this is what banana plants do so I'm not too worried although to be honest I just repotted it yesterday because it was in a really tiny the same pot it came in like months ago it's the same pot it's been in ever since and I just thought it needed some loving care so I fertilized and everything oh by the way I also um, repotted this one as well okay did not come in this pot and my pots guys <laughs> I get this from the dollar store okay this is a dollar store pot the green pot that it's sitting in actually um, that's just like you know one of those 97 cents pots okay the plant itself is like three bucks no no four dollars plus tax so it's like five dollars ish right it's no more than five bucks um, I don't even think you got the five dollars <laughs> yeah so I don't spend a lot because I don't have a lot to spend and why should I, right? But yeah, banana plant is 
surviving and hopefully will be thriving a little bit more right now the leaves are looking slightly yellowy it used to be at the other side in less light I thought you know I'm gonna move it closer so that it's closer to the window near my nice fake plant <laughs> okay so we'll see how that goes so this is a dwarf Cavendish banana all right so let's go over to my window area this vine guys was just a cutting I love I think it's called Pothos. I just love the leaves on, on these vines. I mean, they're just gorgeous. And what you should know is the more light they get, the more beautifully variegated, marbled even, the leaves become. So I got this as a cutting off an office plant where I used to work. Just as a snippet when they were doing their uh, plant maintenance and I just took it home and put it in dirt last year. And um, yeah, not even last year, when was that? Yeah, early spring somewhere there. And uh, yeah, it's doing well. Okay, I confess this. I actually hate this plant. I I thought I would like the aloe, but I don't. I've tried multiple times. I just don't like the look of an aloe vera. To me, I think they're kind of boring, ugly, whatever. So I, I'll be chucking this out because I've asked around and nobody wants it. And to be honest, I haven't been taking care of it, as you can see. Anyway, uh, my passion, though, have always been and probably always will be orchids, guys. I have yet to meet uh, an orchid that I could resist, even the weird ones, right? But I do have some Phalaenopsis type orchids or moth orchids, as some people know them, right? This one um, I got for like three bucks in a clearance department of a local grocery store. So it's gonna be a while before this one does anything. But I'm, I'll be taking out of the pot, out of this pot, which I did place it in when I bought it, because I washed it, changed it, everything. Uh, when I brought it home and it's a good idea to repot things when you bring it into your home because you know like I said you, you got to keep an eye out for bugs and diseases and stuff and one way to check on that is to repot the plant unless it's in full bloom and you really don't want to lose your blooms um, repot it okay but I'll be removing it from this orchid pot and I'm going to be placing it on this bark because remember orchids are epiphytes they grow on trees on rocks very few orchids actually grow on the ground so these guys grow on trees in nature right so they're actually happiest mounted on a piece of wood now I'll be doing that soon but not today but here's some of the other ones that I've got um, this is one of my faves because it's so robust I mean look at it it's not mounted but this thing's a monster look at it oh my goodness it just keeps getting bigger and big look at the roots do you see these roots guys wow yeah I just think orchids are the coolest things ever they are the coolest plants probably because they epiphytes and they don't need dirt and the way they just kind of shoot roots and stuff when they're happy of course I'll be even happy if it shot um, some flower spikes instead of roots but I'm happy with the roots because that means it's happy and healthy Occasionally I wipe the leaves down, you should. Uh, take the dirt off them, you know, be nice to them. And then one day they will reward you with beautiful, healthy, flowering plants, okay? This again is another Phalaenopsis because I just love fowls, as they're called. Here's another one. This is a mini fowl. Okay, it's one of the minis. It actually doesn't get much bigger uh, in terms of leaf size than this. This is it. And uh, as you can see, it's a happy camper too. Because if you look in there, this is how you know if your orchid's happy, guys. It's got roots just growing everywhere, right? That is a hor um, orchid that's happy. Next to that is, um, I always forget the name. I always forget the name, guys. I'm trying to remember now, I still can't. Anyway, I love this plant. <laughs> Um, I just bought it at a whim for like a buck ninety nine. I think it was like in spring from a grocery store. I get plants wherever I get plants. Okay, as long as the plant's healthy and it looks good, I'm in. I'm in. Okay, but yeah, I love this plant whose name I can't remember. But if I uh, when I, I look it up and put it uh, on the screen for you guys, okay. So it's growing nicely. It does need to be repotted. It's been in the same pot since I bought it. I think that's what I bought it. Oh wait, no, I think I repot. Yes, I did repot it actually. A lie. Um, 
and it's doing extremely well so it basically just beautiful foliage foliage is gorgeous guys and last but not least in my collection is let's see if I can get the lighting my crowning glory in terms of my wonderful experiment that has worked out beautifully thus far thank God is this phalaenopsis right which is mounted on wood now I snapped some pictures a few months ago when I did this scared to but I did it <laughs> it is not planted in anything it's just simply sitting in this uh, homemade planter <laughs> and I'll tell you guys how I made this planter I'm so proud of my planter guys this planter cost me like I don't think it cost like four bucks this whole setup right here okay let's let's, let's go up and down look at that huh drill the hole in the ceiling you know put some hooks with some fake diamond beads you know and then some beautiful garden twine oh yes yes from the dollar store hmm and then I got me a you know basket for pencils and things <laughs> and I wrapped glued um, garden twine onto it guys with some glue and this is how I created this masterpiece which looks very fancy and I'm actually probably going to be adding something along the edge okay I haven't decided what yet whether I'm gonna do like maybe these um, beautiful glass crystal type beads that I have anyway um, I'm almost out of space so I gotta hurry it up here with this quick update but yeah um, so um, this basket I have some photos on my Instagram you can check that out uh, yeah, so it's basically a simple dollar and change um, plastic uh, basket, if you can see underneath there. <sighs> and I might put something on the bottom to decorate it, because when you're sitting in this lovely chair right over here, right, you can actually see underneath. So I might, I don't know, I might put stuff there or just leave it as is, because it's so pretty and simple. Um, yeah, and a, a roll of uh, garden twine and a bottle of glue, all from the dollar store for like four bucks total okay that's what this entire setup cost okay and